everyone, welcome back to my channel where I make videos on homemaking, femininity and simple living. So today I wanted to make more of a personal video to me, sort of expressing a few more opinions than I usually do, but more about my own life and my own choices and why I want to choose certain things. So I really hope you enjoy this video which is going to be all about why I want to be a housewife and why that is essentially my life goal, which sounds very controversial in 2020 but I just thought I would put out an alternative point of view and my own story at why I sort of have these views for my own life. So first of all I just want to do a little disclaimer because I know this is quite a controversial topic and I genuinely really don't want to offend anyone. By making this video I'm not saying that this is the path that everyone should take and this is the path that will make everyone happy. I'm just explaining my own point of view and why I want to do certain things but I'm not trying to say at all that this is what everyone should do because I know that different things make different people happy and I just want to give my experience and my views today and I'm really sorry if I'm a little bit giggly. I need to tell you the reason I'm giggly. <laughs> So I wanted to do a bit of a clickbait sort of thumbnail of like the traditional sort of housewife stereotype being an apron with, I don't know, a baking bowl. But obviously I didn't want to start baking something. So I just have a bowl with some baubles for Christmas in it. <laughs> Felt so strange to be posing with a bowl with nothing in, but... Anyway, let's get on with the video. So I'm gonna split this video into like two parts and it's sort of my two main reasons why I wanna be a stay at home mom slash housewife. And the first half of that is my personal traits, my personality and why I think is the best choice for me. And then the second half is gonna be why I think it'll be a good choice for our future family dynamic and my current relationship. So the first things I'm gonna go into is my personality traits. And the first being that I just genuinely love being at home it is my happy place whenever I'm out even if I'm out doing something I really enjoy I always just can't wait to get home it just gives me that feeling of safety and comfort and I'm surrounded by all of the things I love and I just genuinely love being at home it's the one place where I really really do relax I think that's half being an introvert as well because although I seem quite outgoing and I am when I'm in like social settings I need that personal time where it's just quiet and it's just myself and I'm alone with my thoughts and I actually am one of the few people on earth that really 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 enjoy that. The next thing is as a person I've always been a person who's happy with the small stuff in life it's always been the smaller things in life that have made me happy so I think this sort of works for being a housewife in two ways the first being that you do need to be quite frugal and save money you know you don't want your husband to be going out to work and working so hard for this money just to see you blow it on unnecessary things. I could imagine that will build a lot of resentment in a relationship. So I think when you do have this dynamic, it is important to be respectful to your husband who is going out to work for you so that you can live this simple life and that you spend that money wisely on things that you actually need. So I don't think things like designer handbags and extravagant shopping really fits in with that. So luckily I'm not a person who has ever really wanted those things in life. And I, I always say to myself, if I won the lottery, I don't think I would ever go out and buy designer things. I just can't imagine spending that amount of money on myself when there's still children in the world in this country that go without lunch, without food and go hungry. I just can't compute it to myself. So I'd rather live the most basic life that we can afford and be comfortable, of course, be comfortable and be able to afford your bills and not worry about anything. But I just think my personality has always been that I don't need the extravagant things in life. And if I did have them, I would personally feel really guilty and uncomfortable with it. The next reason that sort of fits is because I'm happy with the smaller stuff in life, it doesn't take much Either, even within my day to make me happy. It's the smallest things that make me happy from making a cup of tea to the weather being nice, to getting a cuddle from Murphy, to making a meal that turns out really well. It's all these little things that just make me really happy. And I'm a person who practices gratitude all the time. And I've always practiced gratitude ever since I was younger and before it was like a popular thing to do. I know nowadays there's all these gratitude journals and things to remind people 
but I think I've always been naturally a very grateful person who's noticed the little things in life. So I think that really does work out well for if you want to be a stay-at-home wife or a stay-at-home mother in that a lot of the days will be monotonous. Mono I can't say that word. A lot of the days will be monotonous. There we go. <laughs> so there might be a lot of tasks that you have to do every single day and a lot of days might look very similar to each other. So I think it's important when your life is like that that you can notice the little things and feel grateful for the little things every day. And it's about reminding yourself as well that you don't need that much to be happy. I said this in a video a couple of weeks ago or probably last week that as humans we actually need a very very little to be happy so it's just about noting those little things in life and that is why I think being a housewife will completely suit me because I'm just that type of personality that will be beyond happy with that. The next part of my personality that I think suits being a housewife is that I very easily occupy myself so I don't really get bored in situations where a lot of people would get bored. So take for example this year where a lot of us have had to stay in our homes. A lot of people have really really struggled with that and my heart really does go out to anyone who has struggled and I mean I have struggled mentally in terms of the bigger picture of what's gone on in the world and wondering when things are going to go back to normal and I've had to change my wedding date and things like that so I have been affected but on a day-to-day -day level I wouldn't say I'd been hugely affected because I quite enjoy my own time and I quite enjoy being in the home and just finding little things to keep me occupied so whereas some people need that busy stressful lifestyle to feel like they're you know they're satisfied in life and that they're doing something with their time I'm the complete opposite and I do find joy in taking things slower and sort of doing one thing at a time so the next point is that I am naturally a person who avoids conflict and competition I'm not someone who is like highly competitive and wants to climb the corporate ladder and I'm certainly not someone who thrives in an office environment where other people's goals are like that because I just I always just want to take myself out of the situation completely but I think generally that sort of environment and how toxic it can sometimes get is just a massive massive put off for me. Now luckily I have found a job that I'm doing now that I absolutely love and it's nothing like that, it's the complete opposite. The team is the most supportive group of people you could ever ever wish to work with and that's because I'm working in a caring career. So the people who are attracted to that sort of job are usually very caring giving people who don't really have intentions to get really really highly paid and to get that crazy corporate job and um, it's much more a career that you choose when you want to choose a life of giving to other people and that's exactly the reason I love this job is exactly the reason I want to be housewife and a stay-at-home mom as well in that I'm a giving person and I'm not someone who is attracted to just making money I'm someone who is attracted to caring for people so while this job works for me absolutely beautifully now and I absolutely love it I know when I'm a mom and when I have children that's going to change because I want to have the time for my children which takes me on to the next half of my video which is family dynamics and why I personally through my experience in life think that onto the controversial yeah, so, so through my experiences, this is why I think that personally, our family dynamic will work better with me at home and my partner going out to work. So I'm gonna explain those reasons now. So first of all, I've been reading a lot recently in different books about this sort of rushed out syndrome that women have today in that we're just trying to balance everything in terms of career, the home, children, and your relationship. And I think what suffers is just the general whole picture of everything in that you can't do everything perfectly. You can't do everything right. Right. so your relationship with your children could suffer your relationship with your husband could suffer you might do a poor job in work or your house just might be a total mess or if it's not and you are balancing all those balls then I think the thing that suffers often is the woman's self-care for herself the time for herself to process her own thoughts and to follow hobbies and creativity and things that she really does want to pursue so the biggest thing for me and this is the thing that 
even though I've learned more about this sort of style of living in the last year, this has always been something that has called me to want to be a stay at home mum when I do have kids in that I want to have time for my children and I'm such a maternal person. Anyone who knows me knows that I've been broody from the age of like 10. <laughs> I've always had dolls and it's always been my life goal to be a mum and I really really hope that that is possible but hopefully if it is and I do have children one day then I want them to know how loved they are and I want to have that time for them to play with them and to give them that attention that they need. Sometimes I feel so sorry for women that do have to work and they have a really stressful job and they come home and they're just so physically exhausted that setting aside time to play with her kids, she's just exhausted and doesn't have the mental almost strength to do it after having a day in the office where it's been all loud and busy then to come home we all know what kids are like and they need your full attention and they need it now and it's non-stop so I think it's it's not just the time but it's also about the energy and the other point I want to make that I probably should have said at the start as a disclaimer is I know that this isn't a choice that everyone can make so this video is outlining my ideals in life, what I'm striving for and what I really, really want to have in my life. But I know that there could be things that change, which mean that I do need to work. So that could be money pressures or that could be for other reasons that I don't want to get into because a tragedy could happen. I don't even want to talk about that. But basically there are things in life that we do have to accept might happen and we can have our own ideal vision of what we want to happen. But it's also important to have a plan B as well. So that's why I have gone to university I have got a degree and I am having some form of career where I get a few years of experience behind me so that I can then go on to be a housewife or a stay-at-home mum if that's possible but then if something changes I've always got something to go back to and I think that's important to make that point in this video too so as well as having the time for your children and that relationship flourishing I also think that traditional roles in the household is great for strengthening the bond between you and your husband and the reason I think that is because I think the day-to-day -day living is what makes a happy relationship I don't think it's the grand gestures that happen a couple of times a year on birthdays and Christmas and Valentine's Day I think it's the day-to-day -day how you respect each other and I think that respect is strengthened when you both have clear value to bring to the relationship and how you bring that value is by having clear defined roles so in some households and most households the woman is the one that would enjoy staying home and wants to raise her children obviously there is no judgment if that is the opposite way around in your dynamic but for me personally in my dynamic i do enjoy more of a traditional approach to gender roles so i think when there is that clear division of labor and and say for example my husband's bringing home the money bringing home the bacon <laughs> as we call it and the woman is creating a warm environment creating the food looking after the children then you can appreciate each other more rather than both of you trying to balance everything and really you could be doing the exact same if you were single there is a clear value that the other is bringing and not only that but by having a clear division in labor but you both have more physical time for each other and physical energy for each other to nurture your relationship and obviously I'm only young so I don't think I'm the best person to be giving out relationship advice you know I'm very aware that if you ask a 50 60 70 year old that's been married for x amount of years and they'll probably have much better advice for me but what I hope for my future relationship and what I've learned so far by observing other people is that you have to continually love and respect and nurture and put time into your relationship it's something that's never going to be perfect 100% of the time it's something that you do have to work at and if you notice you know your husband might be more stressed and snappy recently then at least you have the time to physically notice that you're not just two passing ships in the night and you can nurture that and pull it back and nip it in the bud before it's too late <laughs> Okay, so I'm just editing this video back and I just wanted to quickly hop on to say that this could be misinterpreted what I've just said to mean that if your husband is snappy with you that you should nurture it and I don't mean that at all. If your husband is being snappy in a way that is emotionally or physically aggressive or could be abuse then it's important to not nurture it and just to get yourself out of the relationship and be safe. So they're the two family dynamics that are most important to me, having time for my children and having time for my future husband that I'm getting married to next year. 
The other point is health reasons as well. I studied nutrition at university and that's because I'm super interested in living a healthy lifestyle. And I think when you look after your body, it shows so much self-respect and you just have more energy for the things that you enjoy in life. Now, I totally understand why the health of many countries is slipping and I genuinely just think it's time. People do not have the time anymore to make a healthy meal. And I'm not saying that it's necessarily the physical time because we have so many programs especially in the UK about 15 minute healthy meals so everyone can be healthy and there's no excuse I kind of disagree with that because I think it takes time and mental energy to plan to meal prep to make sure you've got the ingredients to do the washing up to chop the vegetables it does take that time and planning and thinking about what you're going to have each day of the week so I think when one person has that role and they can sit down and plan out the meals and plan what they need to buy from the shops then I think it's so much easier to make sure that you're having a healthy meal at the end of each day and not only that but we know the links between stress and health and stress is one of the worst things for your body so if you can avoid stress by basically adding less into your life yes you will have less money because both of you aren't going out to work but you will have less stress because one person is taking care of everything in the house so the person that is going out for work isn't coming home and then having loads to do in the house and chores to do they can just come in and relax and then the last point that I want to make is that I think that it is financially achievable for a lot of people who are working. And by that, I mean that once you have kids, the cost of childcare in the UK, then you add on to that petrol, you add on to that buying your lunch, you add on to that a couple of takeaways because you are more prone to get a takeaway if you're working and you get in tired just face it, you are. <laughs> the price of work clothes, the odd coffee, there's so many additional expenses when you are working that if you kind of weighed that up alongside the fact that if one person has more time for grocery shopping or food shopping, we say in the UK, I always go to say grocery shopping when I'm filming a video because it's all Americans I watch on YouTube. <laughs> But if you do have more time to do your food shopping, then you have the time to work out where is cheapest to go. And you have the time to go to all different shops rather than when you're working. I think, you know, you just want to grab your food, just go into Tesco, which is really expensive and just buy everything and be done with it. Whereas if you are staying home, you do have that physical time to look in Lidl, have a look in Aldi, have a look in Home and Bargains. Also, the same applies with shopping for clothes as well. I buy everything from eBay or charity shops now, not just for money reasons, but also because of fast fashion. And I just really hate the thought of people working in factories in a building that's half nearly falling down for absolutely no wage just for me to have a new dress every day of the week i just can't cope with that thought so i'm going to try and not go on off on too many tangents because as you can see i do feel passionately about this and the reason i feel passionately about it is because i just feel like it's a calling that i've always had to stay home especially when i have children it's always been a calling to me to stay home to to make our house nice to come home to and to raise children that's always been where I feel like I'm on the right path and whenever I've ventured off and attempted different careers that are more corporate and officey I've just been so unhappy so so unhappy when I mean unhappy I don't just mean a little bit stressed like I would come home and absolutely sob because I didn't want to go into work the next day so that's why sometimes I think it is just easier if you are naturally like me and your personality is like mine and you've been watching this video agreeing with what I say then sometimes it is just easier to admit to yourself actually I do just want to be a housewife and a mum and I'm perfectly happy with that I think society sometimes looks down upon that and thinks that you know you're wasting your potential especially in my case when I've gone to university and got a degree and have started a great career that I love it's very hard for people to understand why would you want to throw that away just to stay home and raise children but I think you know society needs it now we need strong families and we need children that feel loved you know 
I look out now into the world and I see so many broken families and so many children that don't feel loved that I always want to be that stability not just for my own family but for my community when my children go to school and they have friends where their mum is working and they don't have time to make them a meal I want to be able to invite all the children that don't have a healthy meal in the evening back to our house I just want to look after everyone and I feel like I need time to do that so that's why I want to be a housewife and a stay-at-home mum. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I just want to say another disclaimer, I know this is going to get really annoying, but I just hate the thought of offending anyone. I do talk about children a lot and my desire to have children and, and you know, everything that I think I'm going to get out of that. But I really don't want someone who is watching this video who wants to be a housewife but doesn't necessarily want children. I don't want you to feel like I'm knocking that down or making out that your role in the home is less important. These are just my views for my own life but I respect everyone and if you want to be a homemaker and you don't want to have children that's perfectly fine as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope I've not been too giggly. I feel like I put myself in a really stupid mood by making that thumbnail with the bowl <laughs> with my baubles. <laughs> I just can't cope the things we do for social media so i'm gonna leave this video here i really hope you have enjoyed it if you have then please give this a thumbs up and subscribe for more homemaking and femininity style videos and i will see you in my next one